Welcome to Tech Blueprint, a window that lets you know the latest technology news in the world. Korean manufacturing has been surpassed by Chinese manufacturing in one industry after another. The latest industry is, of course, OLED panels. South Korea has dominated the OLED panel market since 2007. In 2017, Apple first adopted Samsung's OLED panels, pushing South Korea's OLED panel industry to its peak. However, Chinese companies soon appeared in the OLED panel market. At the end of 2017, BOE mass-produced OLED panels. In the first half of this year, China's OLED panel market share exceeded that of South Korea. In addition to the OLED panel industry, China has previously surpassed South Korea in the LCD panel, mobile phone, shipbuilding, and other industries. These industries were once ranked first by South Korea, but it was unexpected that China would surpass them one after another in just over 20 years, leaving South Korea helpless. Many South Korean companies lamented that there seemed to be no hope of winning in front of Chinese companies. The TV industry is another industry that China is about to surpass. Although Samsung is still the world's number one in the TV industry, LG has been surpassed by TCL, and their TV panels are now mostly supplied by Chinese companies. China supplies more than 60% of the world's LCD panels for TVs. It is only a matter of time before China's TV industry surpasses. These facts show that as long as Korean manufacturing is in the same industry as Chinese manufacturing, Korean manufacturing can only be defeated by Chinese manufacturing. There seems to be no exception. The reason for this is that China's own market is large enough, and the cost of Chinese manufacturing is much lower than that of South Korea. The foundation laid by Chinese manufacturing has now begun to expand to various industries, and the industry in which Korean manufacturing is located is exactly the first target for Chinese manufacturing to catch up. Samsung can achieve the world's first place in the memory chip market because it has adopted a counter-cyclical expansion model for many years and it can achieve a counter-cyclical expansion model because of the foundation it has laid in other industries, such as the TV and mobile phone businesses have ranked first in the world for many years, which can provide support for other expanding businesses. In the LCD panel industry, Samsung endured seven years of losses and outlasted Japanese companies. Finally, in 1997, it surpassed the Japanese LCD panel industry and ranked first in the world in the memory chip industry. Once Japanese memory chips reach the down cycle of memory chips, they often take contraction measures, while Samsung relies on other businesses to provide support, but expands aggressively in the down cycle and surpasses Japanese memory chips in the up cycle of memory chips which led to the collapse of Japan's Elpida and made Samsung the world's largest memory chip company. However, when Korean companies encounter Chinese companies, this set of tactics no longer works because Chinese companies can tolerate low profits more, and Chinese companies are also supported by the huge domestic market, while the Korean market is too small. South Korea has only 40 million people. Even if South Korea concentrates its strength to support limited companies such as Samsung and Hyundai, it is difficult to resist. China's BOE started in 2003 by purchasing a 3.5-generation line from Hyundai in South Korea 
and entered the LCD panel market. Subsequently, BOE also endured several years of losses and stuttered technology. It was not until 2009 that the 8.5 generation LCD panel production line was put into production, catching up with the level of South Korea. In the same year, TCL invested in Huaxing Optoelectronics to put into production the 8.5 generation line. By 2018, China ranked first in the LCD panel market, while Samsung gradually withdrew from the LCD panel market, and LG significantly reduced its LCD panel business. Chinese companies are masters of endurance in terms of tolerating low profits. China's TV industry has been insisting on price wars for more than 20 years and the industry profit is as low as 1.5%. Even Korean companies cannot bear such a long period, not to mention that Chinese companies have always been good at occupying the market at a loss, which is well known in China. The low cost and high efficiency advantages of China's manufacturing are reflected in the foundry industry where Foxconn is located. Foxconn's production line workers can work 24 hours a day. During the peak production period of the industrial chain enterprises supporting it, even the workshop owners will personally work and deliver goods 24 hours a day. The efficient domestic logistics network also supports this efficient supporting production method. This unique high efficiency has made China's manufacturing the world's number one for 14 consecutive years. The uniqueness of China's manufacturing makes the means of South Korea's manufacturing to attack Japan's manufacturing completely ineffective against China's manufacturing. On the contrary, once China's manufacturing makes an effort, South Korea's manufacturing can only be defeated. It seems that it is its fate to be defeated by China's manufacturing. It can be expected that South Korea's manufacturing will be defeated by China in more industries in the future. This result is doomed. Due to its low cost, high efficiency and huge market advantages, Chinese manufacturing has surpassed Korean manufacturing in many industries including OLED panels, LCD panels, mobile phones, etc. Korean manufacturing faces competitive pressure from Chinese manufacturing and may be surpassed in more industries in the future.